Hi, welcome to a lesson on 14-100, item D. I'm going to start with reading the code out of the code book. So it says, where the top conductor forms part of the only circuit supplied from a power or distribution transformer rated over 750 volts with primary protection in accordance to rules 26-250. So what I have written here is uh, just the basics of that. I have an example using a 14.4 kilovolt transformer, so that's obviously over 750 volts. The primary protection is not drawn in here, but assume that's the case, and assume all the provisions from 26-250 are met. Let's move on to item 2. Term terminates in a single overcurrent device. So down here, I have uh, a single overcurrent device. It looks like I have two, but it's actually a double pole breaker because this is 240 volts. So that is a single overcurrent device. And that's uh, compared to, let's say, a panel board which has a bunch of overcurrent devices in it. So you cannot do that. For this rule, it has to be just one overcurrent device. And carrying on with that rule, it says that overcurrent shall not exceed the opacity of the conductors in the circuit. What they're really saying there is this overcurrent device cannot exceed the tap. The tap must be bigger or equal to this overcurrent device. In the, in the case here, I, I'm drawing a breaker. And then item three says mechanically protected. So we're going to assume that all this is in you know, EMT or um, some rigid steel. Okay, let's uh, let's start with the calculation. I have one started here. It's 200 amps, a non-continuous load. So we're going to size this wire here. So this is step one. And step one, basically, table two says this wire is going to be, let's look up at table two, a three-aught. Three-aught, which is good for 200 amps. I forgot to mention that all the equipment here is 75 degree rated. Now, step two, we size our overcurrent device. So table 13 says, and that's supposed to say table 13. That says, oh, we're gonna use a 200 amp breaker. And then we size the tap, and the tap has to be equal or greater. Well, that'll be easy. This will also be three aught, which is good for 200 amps. So there you go, that's rule 14100D. Let's just try one more example here. I'm gonna erase this. And let's say we did this with um, 120 amp non-continuous load. So same idea, step one, we're looking at table two, go to table two, and we see a number one AWG conductor is good for 130 amps. <clears throat> Again, we're in the 75 degree rated column. Step two, we go to table 13, we size a breaker off this 130 amps, and we put in a 150 amp breaker based upon this wire. Now, this is where item two comes in, this tap cannot be smaller than this overcurrent device, so we cannot put in a number one here, even though it kind of looks like common sense tells us we can. No, this tap has to be equal or less than the overcurrent device, so then we're looking at a tap that has to be 150 amp rated, which will bring us then to the last example, which is going to be a one aught, good for 150 amps. Oops, amps. There you go. See you next time.